Now, electromagnetic vibrations are the right-sided vibrations uh, of the dead, we shall say. Now, our vibrations are what we are calling this Chaitanya, is the combination all, of all these three plus uh, the Ardha Matra is the Adi Shakti on top of that. So we have four types of vibrations integrated in these vibrations. Emotional side, evolutionary, and the one that is electromagnetic. So we have all these vibrations within us integrated, and on top of that is the fourth one, which is the Adi Shakti's vibrations. They organize, they think, they work out, they direct, they choose, they do everything which is the administrative side. So we have four types of vibrations within. Now see a camera. I'll tell you an example. I went to a station for my own photographs. So there were four photographs every time I come. The first one didn't have so much depth. Second one improved. The third one improved. And the fourth one was the best. What happened? That when the first photograph came in, it received some vibrations and, and it changed electromagnetic into the Chaitanya, little bit. And the fourth one was good. Like you people, when you take my photograph, I'm very much different from the photographs taken by people who are not surgeons. Sometimes I look in those photographs, otherwise as if I'm standing with somebody with a pistol at my back. <laughs> but the camera, which is not touched by anyone, which is facing me all the time, records so many things which normally people can. Now you know that the people who were taking very good ph photographs have suddenly lost that power because their ego has come. They have started thinking they were very great photographers, these are thinking no end of themselves. So their photographs are not showing such results. The other day I saw a photograph of mine and I told the person who has taken the photograph and he was amazed. How did I know? I said, I can see all the chakras represented in this book. From the photograph I can make out who has taken the so when a person is dealing with these electromagnetic vibrations, say, for example, here are electromagnetic vibrations, isn't it? Simple as that, here and these. Now they receive my vibrations and the, whatever I talk becomes a mantra. When I blow in this, I blow in your sastra. Electromagnetic is a wee bit of a dimension, one-third of the right side, one-third of the right side electromagnetic. Out of which this universe is created. Then there are other vibrations which are beyond electromagnetic, like we have five elements. Electromagnetic are only two elements, two elements which are combined together. It's very easy to combine two elements, no permutations and combinations. But when there are five elements, these three combinations can make so many varieties and they are all right-sided. So you can imagine there are so many vibrations on the right side. We are using the ether, for example, ether we use for broadcasting. We think it's only electromagnetic is a wrong idea. Now when I speak, say, and broadcasting, it goes in the ether, it's the addition. So it governs it, then it manages things. 
it can work on your sastrara it can work on so many kundalinis it can work on the nature but they are so frightened of me they never allow me to go on the team the negative so electromagnetic is just a v part of it as i told you it's just a combination of the mother earth and the electricity that is we can say comes out of the water in it that's all <coughs> electromagnetic things have helped in one way in creating life because where there were only gases created helium hydrogen oxygen it was the electrical charge which changed them into life i mean as it were formed by like that but the electrical charge also changed them because there was adi shakti's power working on them the administration was done by adi shakti's power so it's just a wee bit of it and if you have to achieve anything on the electromagnetic you can show wonders out of it wonders vibrations can pass out it means that it administers those vibrations which are sound vibrations now for example take it the sound vibrations are carried by electromagnetic vibrations in the same way chaitanya can be carried on electromagnetic vibration they can be carriers but chaitanya cannot carry electromagnetic 